Jesse Liu, Rod Riggs, also known as Herbaloo, and I'm here at Allendale Farm today in Brookline, Massachusetts. I'm leading an urban herb walk, sponsored by Urban Moonshine from Vermont. And we're here to show people the plants, get them to know their backyard apothecary, and empower themselves with the herbs growing uh, right out their back door. So today on the herb walk, we saw dandelion, um, Taraxicum officinale, and that is the sunny yellow flower that you see everywhere. Dent de Leon, the teeth of the lion. And that's a bitter, uh, sweet and bitter plant uh, used as a spring tonic. It's actually the main ingredient in Urban Moonshine's bitters. We're here to really celebrate Earth Day and show that the dandelion is, is very important to the earth and we really should uh, respect it rather than spray it and try to eradicate it. Its bounty around us shows us that it is there for us to use as much as it is present, so often. <laughs> oh, we talked about garlic mustard, so we spotted garlic mustard. It's an invasive to the area, um, but is edible. So we pulled it up uh, completely, the whole root, the whole leaf and flower system, and you can eat the top parts. So we were eating the leaves, the flower buds, delicious in soups, and you can make a garlic pesto. You might not want to, you know, eat it every day, all day. So, so in moderation. We saw greater celandine, poppy family. It exudes an orange uh, liquid from its roots, and this you can use to uh, essentially burn off warts. So you would apply it every day, and it leaves an, an orange stain on your skin, so you can tell when you need to reapply. Next to that, we saw Japanese knotweed, another invasive. Although it is being studied, the best part is that these invasive plants, even though we're taking them out in mass quantities, we can actually use them as most of them as medicine in mass quantities. The Japanese knotweed is edible. You can harvest the small pink shoot and eat them like asparagus. We had motherwort, Leonaris cardiaca, the heart of the lion. And this is a uterine tonic. Um, it's in Urban Moonshine's Joy Tonic as the main ingredient. And I've harvested uh, the flower heads before to make a tincture, um, not to be used during pregnancy, as it, it can bring on menses. It's an inspiring and, and relaxing herb and sort of giving you strength. It will also calm you. We went up to a space within the woods with very fertile soil um, and found a myriad of plants up there, but I brought them up to see nettles, which I actually have some next to me here as well. If you hold it tight when you pick it, it doesn't actually sting you. Um, so you can dry it, you can make an infusion with it, and drink the tea, um, and then just eating it regularly. It's, it's great to harvest in the spring, and uh, really nutritious, okay for um, pregnant mamas too. It's really good. It's like especially good right now. This is great, uh, a great sort of herbal vitamin. seven minute itch so if you do get stung it's not the end of the world <laughs> it's actually good for some people so you can find um, Urban Moonshine and myself Herbaloo Earth Apprentice online uh, we both have websites and we're both on Facebook um, you can read my blog at herbaloo.org and urbanmoonshine.com for their uh, free herbal education or at an herbal festival uh, you know hopefully we can we can see you there and talk in person All of us as herbalists are very passionate about sharing the information that we have uh, with, with our community members and our family members and our loved ones um, and you, anybody who's interested because it is a form of empowerment and it's our birthright that comes from the plants so it, it really makes sense to continue our lives with them. So.